This playthrough is rated M for Mature. So I'm finally gonna join the ranks of the smartphone, huh? Guess I'm moving up in the world. Pretty heavy stuff. I've been using dumb phones practically all my life, so I wonder if I'll even be able to figure the damn thing out. Greetings and salutations, everyone. Voldemar, do Voldemar here with more Akiba's uh, trip. Or Akiba Strip, as it were. Well, that's a play on words that I just know. So I don't know why I had to mention that now. Anyway, we are back and we're getting a new phone for one of our friends here. Woo! Yeah, see, so no way I know how you're doomed. You'll get used to it in no time. I'll help you if you like. Huh? You will? Well, I might take you up on that then, if I get stuck with anything. Thanks. Dude, there sure are a lot of models to choose from. I have no idea which one to buy. They all look pretty much the same to me. Hmm. Oh, hey, how about this one? Me and her have the same one? opinion on that. I like the color and the price tag. Must be an older model, but I'm okay with not getting the newest one. As long as I can use it, that's what counts, you know? Oh, yeah, I've been meaning to ask. You seem like you weren't feeling too well last time we were out. Are you feeling any better now? You're not still feeling like crap, are you? If anything comes up, you know you can always just say so. I know you like to keep it to yourself. You've been that way ever since you were little. But if you're in pain, please let me know. If you're hurting, I'll always hear you out, okay? That's what old friends are good for. You can forget about what other people think and just say whatever's on your mind. Sometimes. Eh, thanks, I'll appreciate it. I'm gonna bring myself to bother you like that. The Lone Hunter doesn't need your pity. Thanks, I'll appreciate that. You I'll bet. let you know. And if you do start to get all woozy again, just remember. You've got a bowl of the Sagi Saka family's secret rice porridge coming your way. And I'm gonna make you eat every last bite. I wonder if she likes me. All mm. right. The smartphone of my dreams is now in my hands. Now I can use the Synthester app on my own, without having to borrow the store phone from Pops. And I can check Pitter whenever I want, too. No, don't Sucks get sucked in. Don't get sucked in. It's like Facebook. Email addresses oh. from the old one, though. Can you believe they actually told me the phone I was using was too old to data link or whatever? That just seems like bad customer service to me. Not the end of the world, though. I just have to put them all in again, and I'll be good to go. Might as well christen the thing with your number. As a thank you for all your help today. Couldn't you call me before anyway? I'm honored. The other email addresses should take precedence. No numbers needed. You just whisper my name. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Mm -hmm. The honor is all yours, I assure you. So, uh, is this how you enter a phone number? It's strange not having buttons. I don't feel the push when I hit the digits. It's kind of weirdly unsatisfying. I get what okay, I get your point. Got your email address too. Phones. So I think we're good to go. Let's head back. I really hope things get better for this town. It may not exactly gel with my interests, me. but I still love Akiba. And it's people too. As an Akiba freedom fighter, I have to make sure I really give it my all. Protecting everything this place stands for. Man, I feel psyched now. We got what we came for. So what do you say we head back to Mogra? Yay, we got a phone and some one-on-one -on -one time with our friend, even though you could do that at any other point ever. Anyway, is there any side quests or anything to do? Well, no, just uh, redos. You can do that if you need extra cash. Uh, first email from smartphone. To commemorate my purchase of a brand new smartphone, here's my first email. Aren't you lucky? Feels weird to type by touching the screen instead of pressing buttons. Still not sure about this whole flick input thing either, but hopefully I'll get used to it. Smiley face with that kind of cat smiley face. At least crazy face emoji on things are easier to type now. Well, sometimes if you do it, it'll automatically turn into like a fancy like looking one, you know, depending on what the service you use. Eh, let's put her up on the... Wait, did I? Ah, here we go. Yay! Anyway. Alright, back to... Ah, quit doing that. Anyway, back to the shop. 
Let's see what my friends have to say. Yo. We did it. We picked out a phone. Now the world can be saved. Hey, we're back. Huh? Where is everyone? They said they had things to do. Hmm. Do you have a minute, Sagisaka? Hmm. Well, this is rare. What's the occasion? Well, I... Uh, just wanted to talk about our strategy moving forward. What do you mean? I mean, if the Synthesters really are using some weird drug to power themselves up, then the battles ahead of us are probably going to get a lot more intense. Yeah, they probably are. Listen, up until now, you've been a great help. We've saved a lot of people. You've saved a lot of people. But all things considered, I think the best thing for you would be to sit out the fighting from here on out. What? I'm just saying, if you find any Synthesters while you're out, you shouldn't take them on yourself. Leave them to me, or Sis, or even him. That's not fair! I've been fighting my ass off this whole time, and now you want me to just... What, stop? Yes, I do, before it's too late. This isn't a game, and you've only got one life. Tell her I'm right, won't you? You do make a good point. I think Togo can handle stuff just fine. I'm not sure what would be best here. Togo can handle stuff See? just fine. See? He knows what's up. You are a stubborn one, aren't you? So All right. Do it even if we Maybe told her not you're to. not the listening type. Maybe I should just show you why I'm so concerned. What do you say we put your confidence to the test? Wait, what? What kind of test? We're going to do some combat training at the arena. Just Yay, you the and arena me. Again. Woo. No holds barred. We'll set a time limit, and if you can beat me before it's up, I'll drop the subject. In fact, what the hell? You can even help her. That should well, be a we'll perfect just beat handicap your ass. for my level. I'm like level Ugh. 75 now or I something. I sure as hell can't turn you down after that kind of smack talk. So fine. I accept your challenge. Bring it on. Excellent. I'll go on ahead to the battle arena then. Once you're ready, you can meet me there. But do yourself a favor and take your time. Ugh. I'm probably no match for her or Shizuku, honestly. But I really do want to protect Akiba with all my heart. Still, one-on-one -on -one with Rin. That sounds like suicide. So why don't I take her suggestion and let you help me out? As long as you don't mind pairing up with a mere mortal like myself, that is. This kind of reminds me of the whole concept of Dragon Ball Z, where at some point, at the beginning of the show, humans could actually do stuff, but by the end of Dragon Ball Z, the humans were completely worthless. No matter how hard they tried, they couldn't get up to the Saiyan standards. So they were left behind plot-wise, and the only one that was left by the end was like Krillin. And he was the only tie to regular him and Bulma, right? The only tie to regular humanity. That's kinda of what I hate about that series is that it left all these characters behind. Like, you know, I know that they were getting stronger, but why couldn't the humans get stronger? You know, I don't know. I mean they're the ones supposed to be fighting for their plan. Anyway, enough enough of uh, bitching about anime and stuff like that. Uh, let's show what true child friends could do. We'll save one thought more from where you're supposed to stand. You'll be fine by yourself, Toko. We'll show her what childhood friends can do. That's the spirit. We'll teach her that one plus one can be more than two. Like, sometimes it can be three or more, I guess. Come on, let's head math. to the battle arena. That's not how that works. We shouldn't keep her in waiting. We're gonna beat her, like, horribly bad, unless the plot says otherwise. I mean, look, okay, I'll show you really quick. This is what happens when you try to, like, complete everything on a screen just to make it easier. I'm level 76. I don't know what the game expects you to be at, but that's a lot of levels, let's just say that. I haven't really done much with my armor, I gotta admit, but I've built up my weapon quite a bit. Uh, and I've maxed out all the stripping except for a couple of types. Not necessary, but, you know, easier to get different, you know, money and, and customization. Blotty, blotty, blotty. Alright, anyway, so, anyone here to talk to you before I leave? Oh yeah, um, no side missions or email, so plot it is. It's just her to talk to. Okay, let's go to the battle arena and beat and spank Rin's ass. That's right, I said that. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna spank her hard and teach her a lesson, the little brat. Yeah, 
sense, even though she's like a hundred. So you're old here. Rat. Does this mean you're ready to fight me? Yeah, no holds barred, just like you said. Well, again, you're welcome to bring him into the fight if you want. That way we can see if your team works strong enough to take on whatever comes next. Incidentally, I kind of feel bad about going over Sis's head to challenge you like this. Then don't. But now's not the time for regrets. We're going to treat this like a real fight. Strip the clothes right off my back if you can. All right. I assume we're going to strip, we strip scene from her. And we're not going to lose no matter what. She's got people helping her, though. Look at that. Look at that. Not cool, man. Oh, well, I could, I could beat them pretty badly anyway. I didn't mean to do that. Ah. I'm not trying to grab it. Why is the game keep thinking I'm doing that? Okay. I'm, I'm trying to do like, trying to get like max strip of, uh, of uh, options available. You know what I mean? By that I mean I basically uh, try to like do the maxi strip, of, uh, the maxi Zeus way of, of doing. It. Okay, I need to destroy this guy. Yeah, damn it, machine, right? Oh well, like I said, I'm. I'm really powerful to begin with. Not that I can't still be taken out, but... Alright, here we go. We'll at least get the, get the minor dudes out of the way. There we go. And we'll steal the underwear too. That's the only way to get underwear, by the way, is to, uh, I think you can buy it in some places, but overall you have to, uh, you have to do this, basically. So, anyway, let's, uh, let's finish Ren off. She should be pretty, pretty easy. Okay, let me go and do, finish her off with this. Do it! Kick her ass. I'll show it this time, just to, it seems satisfying, you know what I mean? I don't know if we stripped all of our clothes, though. I will find out here in a second. Oh yeah, we did. Yep. Yep. Did she just say hentai? That's basically Japanese porn. Well, anime, uh, anime-ish type porn. The uh, best way to to explain that. Seems like every character in the game has one of those scenes, or at least major characters. Sorry. Uh, I guess you want your clothes back, huh? Otherwise, you'll die for being in the sunlight. <laughs> I have to admit, you beat me fair and square. Hey, you had You're three dudes You're still pretty rough yourself. around the edges. But you've definitely got some bite to go with your bark. If this is what you two can do as a team, I'd say there's hope for you yet. In fact, you've pretty much convinced me. We, we beat your really? ass. I mean, how... Never mind. Yeah, you did it, Toko. I believed in you from the start, Toko. Guess I better not cross you, huh? I believed well, in you from the start. it's not like I did it all by myself. I guess Sorry, I should have the top option. Oh, well. I have to say, you've got some nice moves. Just think how much more we'd have gotten done by now if we had you as a familiar instead of him. Oh you think God, so? I'm going to punch mm -hmm. you in the face. Well, I can't wait to fight with you again. Together. Hmm? Hey, isn't that your phone? Hmm. An email from Miss Kasuga. I wonder what she wants. She says she's in Mogra. So what do you say we head back and find out? We'll never change this character's attitude. Anyway, so our childhood friend and us have defeated the fair Rin herself, if you'd call her fair. I don't know. Anyway, back to pl more plot. And boobage. Of course, why not? That's how you, that's how they keep the game going. They're just hypnotizing you with those meat bags. They're like, ooh, or buy these headsets, ooh. Okay, so what's this about a proposal? Sorry to call you all together so soon after joining the team. 
but this is regarding the connection between the organization and Daishi Han Pharmaceuticals, so I figured you wouldn't mind. I've deduced that Daishi Han is funding the organization and receiving some form of compensation in return. If I had to guess, I'd say the Synthester's unique biological properties are being used to create an experimental medicine or vaccine or some other such thing. And if we're to expose the truth, I think we'd best do it sooner rather than later. Do you have any thoughts on how to accomplish that, though? I do. That's the main reason I've called you here. I'm certain that Sakaguchi, uh, the managing director from before, must be searching high and low for me right now. Presumably because, well, if what's occurring in Akihabara were to become public knowledge, and especially if the Synthesters were to come to light, it wouldn't bode well for his best laid plans. So basically, you're too much of a threat to be allowed to run free. Exactly, and that's where my proposal comes in. I'll serve as bait, leading Sakaguchi right into our hands. If we can pin him down, it should halt the enemy's plans for a bit. The old bait and switch, huh? You really think it's gonna work? It could be dangerous, Miss Kasugai. You shouldn't try it on your own. Let me go with you. I'm a target too, aren't I? Sakaguchi knows I've been snooping around. If he finds out his two biggest threats are out in the open together, he'll show up for sure. Oh yeah! I guess Daishihan would still be after you too, huh? I'll start flipping that there's gonna be a street concert. And Miss Kasugai, as long as the concert's going on, you can talk to Sakaguchi all you want. Even Daishihan wouldn't start a fight in the middle of a huge crowd. Plus, with two separate targets instead of just one, we'll each only take half the risk. That's not a bad idea, actually. You really think it'll go that smoothly? All right, I'll attend the concert. I can take care of myself. So, I want you and Sis to look after Miss Kasugai. So what do you think? Have we got a plan or what? No objections here. And thanks for the support. And... Forgive me for burdening you with my problems, Rin. No, I should be the one to apologize. Okay, okay, let's not get into apology wars here. You both feel guilty, we get it. Friends give and take and all that junk. And we're all friends here, so let's just move on. That's right, one for all and L for one. What a strangely specific error. Miss Kasugai, I'm going too. Uh, that's all right, right? With you on your side, we got nothing to fear. Don't get in our way, okay? Think you can handle this, huh? Do you? Oh, <laughs> uh, I, I, I gotta admit, I, I, I'm a fan of whoever had to translate this. You could tell they put their own sense of humor into this, you know. But basically, given the gist of what they're saying, because you know that that's not what it was written in Japanese. Of you and course. Your side got nothing to fear. All right. I'm going to write an email to Sakaguchi then, letting him know where to meet me. And so, and so, the Akiba Freedom Fighters are off on their big mission! Let's go! God, my ears. Town Plaza! Pumps of four! I think I got enough time for one more plot. I don't want the video to run too long, but if I get started... Not unless there's some side quests to do. Uh, Shion, uh, wanted to test to make sure if uh, I'm list, so I just guess so. Please get out of the bar. Oh, that, well, that's pretty much what the what we're doing. Ah, huh, Pitter. Let's see what that one says. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is Ren basically saying, I'm doing a thing. You better become mean to the show. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. And we've also, like always, got the haters. Oh, their smartphone. Oh. Yeah, I know, there's something wrong with me. Alright, um, I guess we just gotta go. Because we're at the bar, and that was just to say, hey, go back to the bar. Alright, let's do one more mission for today. Hopefully it doesn't run, like, 30 minutes, you know. We'll see, I guess. I'll make sure to stop the video if it comes that close. Because I don't want any more of those 40-minute videos. Ugh. That's way too much in one video to throw. 
I'm surprised when I see like hour long videos online. Weesh. Okay, it's almost time. If you would, please take cover over there and wait for your cue. Understood. Well, well. It's good to see you again, Ms. President. Or should I say, Ms. Former President. With Rin performing just across the way, I take it you two are in on this together? I wouldn't be surprised if you're the one who sent her after me, since you seem to be such good friends now. Oh no, nothing of the sort. Rin didn't trust me either at first. Oh, I see. At any rate. I'm certain you have a mountain of work waiting for you, so I'll get right to the point. I want you to sever your ties with the organization. Bringing Synthesters into the business arena is, well, nothing short of reckless endangerment, to put it kindly. So, that's your angle then. I'll be sure to take your recommendation under serious advisement. Though it's unlikely anyone will give it any real consideration. You are, after all, no longer the CEO of our company. You're not associated with us at all anymore, in fact. And I don't recall us ever taking advice on company policy from the general public before. I suppose not. Well, if I'm nothing more than a member of the general public in your eyes now, why not simply let me live my life in peace? Hmm. If we do that, what guarantee do we have that you won't go spreading baseless rumors about us. Mm -hmm. As soon as this little show is over, I'd like you and Rin to come with me. Oh? Kidnapping and confinement are both rather serious crimes, you know. It'd be completely voluntary, I assure you. And you have my personal guarantee that you'll be treated with all due respect. Though, if you happen to decline, I will have to give my associates a chance to persuade you. <laughs> so, you're asking nicely, but we either go quietly or kicking and screaming. We always used to say you didn't have the spine to be a director, but it seems you've grown one after all. Hmm. All right then, take this woman to the location we discussed. Yes, sir. Oh no, it's blushing businesswomen. Ah. Stay your hands, knaves. Ms. Kasugai is under our protection. Nicely Prepare said. to be freedomized by the Akiba Freedom Fighters! So, you brought backup after all. Well, no matter. Take them all down. Alright. Time to do smack. He's got a golf club, that's fine. I'm not trying to grab any Christmas game. Alright, I'm gonna try to take out the associates first. Alright, you're done. Well, done enough, anyway. Oh, nice. It's actually got different music for once. You're done. Oh, don't give me that crap. Alright, uh, who else? This should be, this should be enough for a good combo. Let's get started. Okay, I got a couple people out of the way. There we go. I could have gotten more, but eh. How about this? I'm gonna steal your underwear! <laughs> Super typical hit. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Finish the rest of these guys off. <laughs> The only thing I'm afraid of is the NPC players that are helping me will accidentally steal their clothes while I'm trying to do this. So, uh, I'm just, sorry, beating on the wrong dude. Uh, but yeah, it'll ruin my combo. So sometimes you can turn the AI to stop helping you if you really need to, but 
The bad thing about that is that they can start ganging up on you. And that gets kind of annoying after a while. Alright, here we go. Let me steal this guy's shirt before we started. Oh, you're done. I just got the tent strip going on. Stealing your underwear once again! Super strip orgasmatoria! Got your pants! I'm not putting him on my phone, by the way. There we go. Get a lot of underwear while we're at it. Oh yeah, I guess I could go and do a... Hopefully this is here by the time the cutscene ends. It'll be a good chance to stop the... Uh... <laughs> You're naked! Please, uh, I'm opposed to violence. Just as I thought. You can't possibly have any say in all this shady business. Too much heavy lifting for a lackey like you. Sh shady? What nerve? I'll have you know the synthesis somatic cells display properties that could be used to treat otherwise incurable illnesses and, um, well, suffice it to say, my research could save countless lives. Furthering medical science is a valiant goal indeed. But you never truly cared about that, did you? You only wanted fame and fortune, no matter what you had to do to achieve it. You were studying them too? Are you going to stand there and tell me you weren't planning on profiting from them yourself? I'll tell you more than that. I only studied them because I wanted to know more about them. Pure intellectual curiosity. And I would never, ever sacrifice other people to satisfy that curiosity. That's unconscionable. Besides which, I'm a member of the Akiba Freedom Fighters now. My first priority is to protect this town. Research comes later. Damn it, this isn't over! You haven't won, you hear me? I've, I've still got the organization behind me 100%! Behind you? Oh dear. I certainly hope you weren't counting on that. Soga! Mr. Kagatsuki, sir! Please, I beg of you, save me! You're a disgrace. Get your filthy hands off of me. I no longer have any use for the likes of you. Wait! No! Think of all the funding we've provided! We, we gave you your base of operations! And we proposed the plan to give the synthesis performance enhancers. Well, I proposed that plan! Me! And what has it achieved? What did I instruct you to do? You had one job. To remove our only obstacles. And you failed. <sighs> the final preparations have been completed. Be gone. Get out of my sight. <sighs> okay, now you listen here. Why are you causing problems for Akiba, and why did you create the Synthesters? Spill it! The Synthesters are merely the groundwork for a much larger plan. My ultimate goal is the town itself. I intend to turn Akiba into a perfect dark utopia. The hell does that mean? I've been using the Synthesters all this time to gather life energy. So I can create that dark utopia and turn Akihabara itself into a machine that gathers even more. Once I've done that, I'll be able to gather life energy from all over Japan. Nay, from all over the world. And then of the course. Synthesters will finally take their rightful place. Our people will rise from the brink of extinction to the heights of glory. All right, stop with the high and mighty crap. You have no right to do any of this. Bark at me or sing my praises, it no longer matters. The plan has already been set in motion. The excessive greed 
the stagnation of modernity. These have already begun draining from the hearts of each and every man, woman, and child in the area. What do you suppose that means for one like him, who dwells on the boundary between Synthester and Night Eater? His very existence destabilized. His strength will fade and flee. <laughs> Ah, oh, no. Dad's <gasps> dead. Hey, are you alright? I'm impressed he lasted as long as he did, to be frank. Come on! This is no time to be messing around! Get up, damn it! Are you okay? Please tell me you're okay! Pull yourself together! Am I okay? What is in store for our protagonist? Has the main villain taken over? Or are we merely just sleeping off our major excursion with the fight with the management dude? Find out next time on Akiba's trip. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy.